Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indy Comics Jones. Today is June 16th, 2021, and this is episode 334, and this is our mid-monthly special, What is Indie Reading? Okay, and this week we're going to try to expand it to what I stopped reading as well, okay? <laughs> anyway, real quick, uh, number one is Beck Star. Uh, the first issue came out. I think the second issue is actually coming out today. Up next, we have Beta Ray Bill. I've been really loving this one. This is probably one of my favorites, if not favorite, comic that uh, I've been reading. All right, let's move right on to the next one, which is Blade Runner Origins. This one's been a little bit up and down, but I think overall it's been pretty good. Um, been enjoying it. Next up, I have Blue Flame. This has just been issue one so far. I thought it was good. It's been gotten mixed reviews, um, through other uh, sites, but I'm into it. So I'm going to stick with it. So far, so good. I like the humbleness of the character, the main, the main hero. Next up, we have Berserker. I'm actually going to stop reading this because I bought the trades. <laughs> Prepaid for the trades, but uh, I am enjoying it. Uh, and who doesn't love Keanu Reeves? Next up is Chariot. This one was really good when it started. It's tailing off a bit, but I am, I think, three issues in on it. So I'll stick with it for now. Okay, next up I have Cyberpunk 2077, You Have My Word. Only one issue has come out so far, but I did enjoy this one. I'm still waiting for the next installment on that. Next up we have The Sumerian, Iron Shadows in the Moon. And this has been a pretty good story. Um, it's not as gripping as the previous arc, but it's a totally different team on it. Uh, it's a different uh, different um, storyline as far as it's a little bit different Conan. Next up, we have The Edge. And I can't remember what this was about, but the, this issue came out like a couple months ago at least. And I have not seen the second issue as yet. We're deep into Engine Ward, a sci-fi thriller of the future dystopian Earth. And I think I'm like 10 issues into that, so there's two more to go on that one. Next up is Jeff Johns' Geiger. This has been a pretty good story, easy to follow. Three issues in on this. Next up, I make Boys Cry. Just the first one uh, has come out. It's been a couple months. I haven't seen anything on that one. Next up, James Bond, Agent of Spectre. I've been enjoying this one. I just did a review on the fourth issue last night. The Joker. This is a James Tinian book. It's mostly more about uh, James Gordon's obsession with the Joker than the Joker itself, although this last issue... The Joker did make more of an appearance. Let's put something else up there. Uh, Lady Baltimore. And the arc is called The Witch Queens. Just a fun, action-packed story. Um, Mike Magnolia's weighing in on that one. The Land That Time Forgot. Fearless is the act for this one. It's part of the Edgar Rice Burroughs. It's, I believe it's Mike Wolfer. Who I really like his writing. Good action throughout. A lot of fun comic on that one. The Moon Maid. The Three Keys is the name of this one. I got the last issue, I think, in the arc to go on this. And I'll be reviewing that today, hopefully. Moss. This one just came out. I'm going to stick around for at least one more issue. It's kind of on the... The tightrope right now. I don't know if it's going to stay up there. Noctera, Scott Snyder's book. It's been very exciting. Um, 
pretty good story. Another dystopian landscape. I think we're four issues in on that. This one's been a real big surprise, Nottingham, how much I've liked it. It's a, a different spin on Robin Hood and lots of twists. You don't know what's going to happen next. He's varied the story up. I've been enjoying it a lot. Rabbit World. This one I heard is supposed to come out the second issue soon. It has been really good. Um, it's just, it is a zombie type, but uh, with, with the zombies have some kind of rabies. Serial from Terry Moore. This one has been a real strong book in my opinion. Some people said that was kind of boring, but man, I, I, I really like it. I like the way this whole case is coming together on it. Um, so I'm in. Shang-Chi. Now this, this one I'm not loving as, as much as the last uh, arc called Brothers and Sisters. This is Shang-Chi uh, versus the Marvel Universe. It's kind of running out the the whole Marvel roster there. Vampire. This is a Tim Seeley book. I have been liking this. I'm not a big vampire fan, but this Vampire the Masquerade. I've got a couple stories going through it, um, and we're like eight issues in on that one, and that might be close to it. Nope. Sorry. This is really strong. V Vietnam Horror. Uh, it's black and white comic. Very intense, nightmarish all the way through. We're three issues into it. White Widow. This was number five. It was actually a part of the book with uh, I Make Girl, I Make Boys Cry. It was um, it introduced that character, so that's why I bought that one. But I haven't seen any White Widow since. And finally, The Witcher. This is a new arc. I'm not loving this arc so far, but I'm going to give it another chance. Um, you got a different artist on it, and the story so far has not been that great, in my opinion. Uh, it's called The Witch's Lament is the arc name. Now let's take a look to see what I have finished, not going to continue with. Heroes Reborn, uh, number one. This is the variant cover. I just love the cover so much. It's not Wonder Woman, but it's the uh, Squadron Supreme. Next step. We have <laughs> Zero Point Batman. I just bought this as a third printing. Um, I am not going to keep it. The story I thought was very weak. But, you know, it has that thing in it. The code for the skin for Fortnite. Okay, Bell, Thunder of the Gods. I didn't care for this one too much. But it was a one-off. Okay, this one, uh, number one, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. Didn't like it. So, uh, casting it out. Chasing the Dragon. I'm stepping away from this. The story has just got a little too weird. Uh, it's hard to follow as it is, and I'm not quite sure what the whole purpose of it. It started out pretty good, though. It was very interesting. And the art is very good, too, but uh, it's not for me. The Courier, I finished this arc. I love this story. Uh, Ralph Tedesco, Xenoscope. Uh, Xenoscope's putting some surprise stuff out that I've, I've really kind of enjoyed. Deep Beyond, I was loving it the first three issues. The fourth issue went way off the rails. So I am out on this one. I'm not going to finish. Next up. God of War, we just finished this. Uh, it was pretty good. God of War, Fallen Gods was the arc. Uh, four issues on that. The new Harley Quinn, I didn't... Oh, I did not like that by Harley Quinn. <laughs> Helm, Grey Castle. Uh, I, I, was, I liked the first issue. The second issue, I did not. Homesick Pilots, I went through the first arc on this, and that was pretty good. They're going to start a second one in August, and I'm going to be out on that. I'm not going to continue. So that one is gone. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, I love this Larry Hama story. It was six issues. Okay. Harley is laying on the ground there. Okay. King in Black, number one. I did like the way this arc started. The first 
two issues I thought were great. The next two were just okay, and I was a little disappointed in the final and fifth issue of this. Okay, Magic. This is based on The Gathering, Magic the Gathering card game. Uh, it wasn't really based that much, apparently. I didn't like it. I thought it was just kind of all over the place, uh, and the story was just really watered down. Uh, Maniac of New York. I thought this was very cliche reading. Um, I can think of uh, Meat Train or whatever that, that movie was called. Uh, Midnight Meat Train. Um, so I only went in one issue on this. Man's World from Awa Upshot. I really like this book. I went through all four issues for the arc. Look good, exciting, um, adrenaline popping story there. The first issue was just a setup issue though, then the action really kicks in. Marjorie Finnegan, it, Garth Ennis, I um, liked the first issue a lot. The second issue, I only got three pages in and I was disgusted by it, so I am out on that one. Red Room, this is a weirdy. Uh, Ed Pascor's, uh, Pascor's, I guess, uh, book. Highly detailed, just a really weird topic. I don't know if I'll continue with it, but for now, I, I'm glad I read it, though, that one. I've got a couple Robin Hoods coming up. Uh, oversized issue here. Cult of the Spider Queen, I like this one. Cult of the Spider Queen. The next one was Voodoo Dawn. I didn't care so much for this one. Ruby, Justice League. I thought this was uh, El Stinko, <laughs> number one issue here. I will not continue with it. Scream, this was part of the King in Black. I like this, but it was just a one issue comic. Sea of Sorrows, I like this series. I like this arc a lot. Horror, undersea horror at its best uh, with a uh, sea monster in it. Five issues, really good. Sea of Sorrows. Okay. Shadecraft, number one. I thought this was a more of a teen story. Very predictable. I was out. Shadow Service. This is actually number seven. I thought that said number one, so I bought it. Um, I, I didn't care for it. It was like okay, but I didn't care for it. Shino Kaji. I did go through the whole series on this. I did enjoy this. This is an indie comic, almost, uh, Black Box Comics, if you've ever heard of them. I think it was five issues on that one, or four, I guess. I jumped in and read Spawn just for the heck of it. I really liked this issue. The art in it was beautiful. Todd McFarlane was involved with it heavily. Um, but uh, I wasn't real familiar with all the characters because they're building a swan, or a Spawn Universe. Swamp Thing, one of ten. I love the first two issues of this. The next three and four issues, it just wasn't as much fun. So I'm stepping away from this. The art has been tremendous in all four issues, though. Thor, this has been kind of up and down. I believe this was, oh, this is the number one. Um, one through six were really good. Uh, then the next two were a short arc. Hammerfall, and then Prey after that. So I'm stopping. I, it's, it Don and Kate's, I think, is getting a little worn out. And The Union. I think I'm the only one that liked this book. <laughs> I went through all five issues and just thought it was the best. It was. It's kind of a British Avengers type. And they, I thought it was a lot of fun. And it was funny. It had a lot of humor in it, which was great. And then we have the previous Witcher's arc. I love that so on Fading Memories, I thought it was really strong. Um, the art in it was beautiful. And that's it. So we did it. Da -da. Um, so thank you for stopping by and we'll seeing what I've been reading. And I'll just leave that one up there because it's so hot. Um, and we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. I got one more review today from old books and new stuff I'll pick up tonight. Hopefully, we'll have something good to, to review. So, this is Indie Comics Jones. Please like, please subscribe, please leave comments. We'll see you next time. I bid you adieu.